as well when you just So gas turbine engines are generally classified under following categories. Turbo shaft, turbo fan, turbo prop, turbo jet. So uh, these are the uh, major classifications of gas turbine engines. So uh, first we see about the turbo shaft engine, they be use, uses. So uses of uh, turbo shaft engine it has, where you need shaft power. In general, aircraft we doesn't use a uh, turbo shaft engine, expect helicopters. So, Helicopters, I use a turbo, can you to see the turbo shaft engine using helicopters? Then power producing agents, that is power plants. plants. So next you can see that these are the following categories, majorly categories used for aircraft. So what is the difference between each and each? Why I used call as a disc uh, turbo fan, and turbo pop, and turbo jet, and undercut. This is a new technology. So for higher uh, efficient content. So uh, air efficiency of your engine. So first we see about turbo prop engine. So first, first of your turbo prop. Turbo prop engine. So all uh, whatever engines you can say from gas turbine engines, the component inside will be same. First will be your compressor connected with your turbine. And in between you will have a combustion chamber. In this combustion chamber you will inject the fuel to the system. So all engines, the common things will be compressors, combustion chamber, turbine. So engine to engine the requirement will be given. The power output of your engine your, uh, what is as you require you have various output of your engine. First will be you as I said this turbo shaft will be specifically designed to give a shaft power. So this shaft power where I use na? so this shaft power will be in helicopters. Helicopter usually used to have a huge rotor blades. Not to uh, power the rotor blades, I need some powering systems, new powering systems. So this turbo shaft in general. Turbo shaft engine will be used in your helicopters to drive the main rotor and tail rotor blades. So this turbo shaft, and I can see most probably we use in power plants. In power plants, we in order to uh, get generate electricity, we need electricity or say we need uh, um, current. So sorry, in order to generate electricity, we need uh, we are used to rotate some generators, right? So in order to rotate the generator, we need power. That power used to get from uh, this shaft power, this shaft. So you directly connect with the, so you have a turbo shaft. And so at the end, I, I just talk about turbo shaft now. As I said, this engine used to give a shaft power. So what I used to do is I just connect to the shaft and the turbine. This is the turbine. To some powering engine. So say for example, some gen uh, generators. I connect to a tune generators. So this is your shaft power. So if you ask me for helicopters, this setup will be quite very. I have some gears. This used to go for in between we have one gearbox. So this used to go for helicopter rotor plates. This engine used to power helicopter rotor plates. Next you look for a turbo fan engines. So no much modifications.
Here we doesn't need uh, sharp power, here we need a thrust. So what it used to have is, it used to have uh, uh, same, uh, similar reports will be diffuser, compressors, combustion chambers. Uh, this turbo fan, right? So here we used to have big two tax fan. So when the engine rotates, when the engine starts giving a power, automatically try to rotate a huge fan which is pretty rapidly in your engine. So whatever you see in aircraft, you can able to see in aircraft, you have huge propeller blades. In this, when the propeller blade rotates, it used to stuck the air and then aircraft used to move forward. So in order to uh, create this thrust, we used to have a rotated huge propeller blade, we need some power system, so we used to gas turbine engines. So next will be a turbo prop. So this uh, usually uh, turbo fan and turbo prop will be quite common. Actually, turbo fan will be in two type of turbo prop. If you look at turbo prop, so simply it look like this. So uh, the higher version of a turbo prop will be a turbo fan. So you may have. So what is the basic difference between a turbo prop and turbo fan? Nothing. See, if the outer blade will not cover the engine, if the outer blade will not be covered. The, Same, take any engines, so I will take some gas turbine engines, compressors, turbine, enclosed with a curl. So, um, turbo fan if we talk, so uh, both have a huge propeller blades in the print. Propeller fan, uh, if I talk about uh, turbo prop, I have to talk about uh, propeller, so I talk about uh, no, propeller. So the propeller will be in the print, in older aircraft engine you can able to see some propeller will be in print, so open, openly it will be kept. So if I keep this propeller inside the engine curl, then it becomes a turbo fan. So here we, we called a hot flow, here cold flow. So last will be turbo jet. So here uh, this this type of okay turbo fan turbo prop is generally used in a commercial aircrafts. So because this this is more efficient I think. This is more efficient. This is more efficient compared to other configurations. So this is uh, this turbo fan and turbo prop will be generally used in a commercial aircraft. Passengers aircraft will be there, right? So they will be used. Turbo fan and prop. Now we talk about turbo jet. Turbo jet. Turbo jet. Turbo jet engines. Specifically used in uh, fighter aircraft so because uh, this turbo jet engine can be a higher exhaust velocity. It doesn't have a higher printer area, it can have a very lower print area, so lose track too. So you can able to fly faster. So not to move a uh, high, uh, what is it, fastest device, whatever a uh, um, fighter, uh, fighter jet you will take. Most, most of the fighter jet will be in trouble with the turbo uh, jet engines because it used to give higher thrust. A higher velocity of exhaust gas, if I used to get higher velocity of exhaust gas, obviously I can able to go higher speed. So since uh, for uh, defense or what to say, uh, since for uh, tactical mission I need a uh, tactical missile somewhere, I need uh, more speed. So speed, when you go for more speed, you will go for turbo jet engines. So next will be unlacted fan. So unlacted fan is also the same concept. So uh, one thing you have to look. So turbo jet engine, we used to have a conversion and diversion passages. Of nozzle, I'm talking. So, whereas uh, this turbo shaft, turbo shaft doesn't have a nozzle, whereas turbo fan and turbo prop have only uh, convergent passage because the flow which usually this uh, aircraft used to fly is Mach number less than one. So, when you go for higher speed, I need uh, turbo, jet, uh, turbo jet. So, here we have a convergent diamond passage. So, because the, the flow at exit of your turbine will be subsonic. When a subsonic flow enter in your conversion passage, it becomes a sonic flow and is less than 1 and equal to 1. So in order to increase the velocity further, I need divergent passage. So M is greater than 1. So this is a conversion divergent passage which usually looks here to go to So next you see about undefined fine. Similar concept, everything will be similar. So actually as I said before, turbo prop will be a relay engine. So in order to increase your uh, speed of your engine, I directly go for turbo fan. In turbo fan as I said, this propeller blade will be covered with your engine covering. 
So this is your thermofan. So these two uh, engines will be generally used as I said, we used in commercial aircraft. Now to increase the efficiency, fuel efficiency, I'll actually I need some other technology. See what I used to do is, so this, uh, as you know, so actually this turbine only used to uh, generate a power. This turbine, it actually supplies the power from here to this place. So it uh, supplies a from two shaft, two compressor. Next is some powering agent. This is fan. Imagine how much loss it used to take. So I am harvesting the power here and you utilizing the power here. So this much gap used to give some loss of energy. So now to gain those loss of energy, what used to do is, so here, this unducted fan will be designed to keep the propeller fans over the turbine itself. So over the turbine, I used to keep some fan. The same fan, I am uh, replacing the fan position from here to here because the turbine only used to get a power. This power, instead of uh, getting a power from here and spending here, I uh, whatever the power I get here, I directly supply in here itself. So the loss of energy will be a bit lower. So efficiency of your engine will be mega, become higher. So this is your conductor fan. So this usually this uh, fan will be usually have a contra in compressor and contra in turbines. Let's see in a separate video. So this is a general task based on gas turbine engines. Thank you.